Time for the big men, the heavyweights, a battle of newcomers trying to make themselves a name. The nightmare, Wade Ship, against the big man with a big motor, Jonathan Weezor. Wade Ship against Jonathan Weezor. 29-year-old Wade Ship is four years older than Weezork. Weezork is under the 260 maximum. At one point, he weighed over 300 pounds. For the official introductions, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this next fight is three rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, the fighter standing to my left. This man is a jiu-jitsu and Thai boxing fighting expert. He holds a mixed martial arts record of six wins with one loss. Standing six feet, four inches tall, weighing in at 232 pounds. Fighting out of San Diego, California. Please welcome Wade Nightmare And now, introducing his opponent, standing to my right. This man is a wrestling expert who holds a mixed martial arts record of five wins with no losses. Standing six feet, three inches tall, weighing in at 257 pounds. Fighting out of Aldusta, Georgia. Please welcome Jonathan Lock and Load Weezork. Man, look at Weezork. Wade Ship, Jonathan Weezork, both very angry looking men. There is Wade Ship. His opponent, big Jonathan Weezork. Our referee is Herb Dean. You ready to fight? You ready to fight? Let's do it. Here we go. Oh, oh my gosh, goodness, he took the knee. The bull rush, and he took the knee, and Ship is trying to finish quickly. Look at the bull rush Whoa. of Weezork. He's recovered. Weezork's hurt. He looks like he got rocked by that first knee. An uppercut by Wade Ship. Weezark is just trying to get him to the ground. Wade Ship wants a strike. Nice right hands. There's nice a knee. knee. Another right hand. Body shot. Uppercut. Wade Ship is doing a number on Weezark here. Weezark is offering no offense in striking. He's just trying to get him to the ground. Oh, he's being punished. Good use of the knees by Wade Ship. Weezark trying to pull ahead. Weezork is just leaving himself exposed, though he's bleeding. He's bloodied up. Looks like he's bleeding from the nose. It may have been, as you said, that initial knee. Oh, There's the takedown. There he goes. Nice inside trip. Whoa, Wade Ship ends up on top. Not the back of the head. That's the only warning. Not to warned. the back of the head. Good warning by oh. our referee, Herb Dean. There's another knee on Weezork. He could have kneed to the head right there, but he waited for him to get on to stand up. He's abiding by the rules. Nice job by Weezork to withstand early. Yeah, Weezork is tough, but he's taking some big shots, man. Going for the single. Trying to lock on that right leg and yank him down to the mat. Wade Ship looks pretty calm here. Ship showed a great variety in his strikes, really utilizing the knees. Weezork continues to push Wait, the pace, which is what he told us he would do. Yeah, but he's just moving forward. He doesn't have any strikes. I mean, he's showing one dimension only, and Wade Ship looks very relaxed in there because of it. He's not offering any offense striking-wise, so Wade just feel you can just tee off on him. Look how calm he is. Wow, well, you'd be calm, too, if you what? spent every morning Hands running in Tijuana, Mexico. <laughs> this would seem like solitary work, to you. Guys. Wade Ship is just looking for room, and then he drops the right hand in. Just two minutes in to the first of three scheduled five minute rounds in the camouflage shorts with the body tattoos wade ship in the red and black full contact fighter trunks jonathan weezork wade ship's trying to get off that fence create some space land some more shots weezork's face is a mess there were a couple of good uppercuts thrown by ship work, early guys. as well i mean weezork's got that tie clinch where he's holding onto his head but he's not doing anything he's not trying to take him down He's just trying to recover, I guess, from the shots I he's will taking. break that clinch. If you don't use it, I will break it. Herb Dean in vocal control telling Weezork he'll break the clinch if they do not use it. Trying to push the action. These modern-day gladiators of the Ultimate Fighting Championship. Yeah, Wade Ship is, a, oh, whoa, that's an odd little takedown. He just kind of fell to his back. Certainly, Ship nice wants kick. to keep it on the feet, Joe. 
uh, without a doubt. And you know what? But Ship is, uh, he's talented on the ground as well. He just, he's so superior up here standing up. And Wage, uh, we saw oh, there's a knee. no offense. That knee was bounced and pushed away by the hand of Wade Ship with the jiu-jitsu background along with the tie boxing. Weezork, a wrestler, and a tough one at that. But does he have enough that he can try to control with this wrestling? So far, the answer is no. Yeah, and uh, Wade Ship looks like, you know, he's kind of taking his time, trying to catch his breath. You know, there's a lot, of, a little bit of the first time octagon jitters from both of these guys, I'm sure. You know, you, you have sort of an adrenaline dump in the beginning of the fight. You blow it out, you can't believe you're actually here, and it takes a while until your body acclimates and gets back to a, a normal condition that you feel like you were in when you're in training, where you can calm yourself down and relax and actually pick your shots. I mean, this is an ideal condition for, for Wade Ship. Weezork's offering no offense, and he, he's obviously worn out and busted up, and uh, his face is a mess. Oh, he took him down. Never say never. He likes the neck cranks, and he's trying to work the head of Wade Ship as Jonathan Weezork loves the neck cranks. Looks like Weezork's got his back. He's got his, he's back. Got his back. This is trouble for Wade Ship. Wade Ship. Wade Ship looks very tired. He's got to do something here. Herb Dean's going to stop the fight. Right a man. A fighter needs defend to yourself. intelligently defend himself. Weezor right has man. the you back. Show me something. You know what? These shots, this fight. these shots are not hurting him. I hope he doesn't stop this. Clock shows 30, Joe. 30 seconds left in round one. This would be very unfortunate if he hurt. These shots are. Wait, you need to show me something. Oh, he's got to stop it. It is all oh, over. It is all over. Jonathan Weezor. He withstands wow. some heavy blows early and wins by referee stoppage. Wow, Wade Ship just ran out of gas. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a winner at 4 minutes 39 seconds of the very first round. The referee has stopped the action because of the fighter Wade Ship was unable to defend himself, thereby declaring the winner, Jonathan Luck and Law.